at Dematic and Keon, we are investing heavily in technologies within the robotics, within software, and with mobility, that as we begin to integrate those, we form the data that is available to make a smart warehouse. So this robot that you're looking at is a collaborative robot. What that means, it is force and torque limiting. That means it's safe to work around humans directly. So if a human were to touch this robot, make contact with it, it would stop immediately. We're using a 3D vision system on this robot to scan the contents of a tote to find pickable surfaces. The robot then is instructed through the vision system to approach an item, to make contact with the item and then select the item. It then picks the item up and then transitions it over to a conveyor belt and places the item onto a conveyor belt, which then conveys it to another toad and, and fills the toad. One of the largest software advances that have been able to enable robotic applications are the concepts of machine learning and artificial intelligence. And as these tool sets and software become more available to be interfaced directly with the robotic operations, it allows a robot to be more dynamic in its environment because it can learn how to do things better. Never before has a robot been able to pick up an individual item uh, at the quantity or uh, the variety that we're seeing right now. So the benefits are performance, right? We're able to robotically handle up to 1,100 pizzas per hour with a robot, which is very good. We're also seeing a really good ROI, return on investment, of around one year when you take the labor and the hardware cost into consideration, which is very favorable for many of our customers. The artificial intelligence aspect is now available through machine learning and deep learning techniques. And we've been able to utilize this type of technology to see more and different products in some of the applications that we're using. So as one of our main focus points happens to be pick and place for uh, order fulfillment, this allows us to learn how to better pick and place every different SKU type that Dematic might see from our customer set. Dematic has sold recently two piece picking solutions to our customers. One of them is in the grocery space to a customer in Australia. What we're doing there is we have a vision system on two different tote positions where we're acquiring images, we're picking the items, placing them to three different order containers. This is a very high throughput solution that we're doing for this grocery customer. They have around 7,000 SKUs uh, on hand and we're picking as much as 80% of those SKUs automatically using the robot at up to 1,100 pieces per hour. We have another solution that we've sold to a company in Singapore where we're doing pharmaceutical picking, where we're picking up smaller pharmaceutical items and doing the same process, picking them up and placing them into order containers. And again, that one is also doing 1,100 pieces per hour. So very high throughput systems. The robotic system development at Dematic that we're currently working on for the robotic piece picking is just laying the foundation of where we're going to take that application further. We're doing order fulfillment at the moment, but once that problem is solved, you can utilize that component in a variety of applications, including decanting, packaging, put wall. You can now put it on a mobile base that can now go to your storage bins that are throughout the warehouse and actually pick and place in a carton that's following. I had a customer recently come in and we were doing a little bit of a unique application with a custom tool and a custom uh, design. We were demonstrating that solution for them. We picked an item, placed it onto a table, picked a second item, placed it on top of the first one. We placed the third one on top of the, the second. The customer told us to stop and we're thinking, uh-oh, what did we do wrong? Everything went perfectly so far. He, he went into the robot cell and he physically hugged the robot and he said, where have you been? I've been looking for you for the last 20 years.